How can you know that the value of your service and the price that you're charging is good? My name is Tineke Rensen from Powerful Business Academy. I help self-employed businesswomen to grow their business and build a business with a team, with strategies, with systems, automation. And I am noticing something um, that for women, the price we charge often is related to our self-worth, our self-value, how much self-esteem we have. And I can demonstrate this by a, well, I can not, not demonstrate, but show to you what I mean by an anecdote, and it's about Picasso. Um, there, Picasso is in a bar and he is having a drink and a woman enters the bar and she sees Picasso and she's like, wow, Picasso. And she goes over, she introduces herself and she says, hands him this blank sheet of paper and she says to Picasso, please, please, can you draw me something? I will pay for it. And uh, she, oh, she had a lot of money. And then Picasso took the pen, took the paper. He did something like this and like that. It was like uh, half a minute. And he handed her the paper. She looked at it and she said, wow. And she said, well, how much is it? And, uh, and he mentioned an enormous price. And she said, what? For 30 minutes of work, you're charging me this? And then he said, you only look at the 30 minutes it took me. It wasn't even 30 minutes, sorry, it was 30 seconds. You look at the 30 min uh, seconds that it took me. I'm looking at my whole life where I've been building up on experience. Now let's go back to you. Have you just started? Are you in business for a longer time? It doesn't really matter you already are an expert in what you do. Because I bet you've either been doing it in a job for a long time, you've either overcome something on a personal level and now you can teach other people or help other people with that. But what we do, ladies, is we only look at when did I start my business, I have no experience, I don't know how to do it, people don't know me, and therefore we tend to charge a low price. Now, if this is what you say to yourself, some things will happen. You will attract people who are not willing to pay a high price, and they also might not be the nicest clients for you. What else happens is that at some point you will hear about high-end prices and you think, oh, I work a lot less hours for a lot more money, I want that. And you will go to this training and you will do all the steps and it doesn't work. Because what hasn't changed is your self-value, your perception of self. And everybody can tell you how good you are. If you don't believe it yourself, you will not attract the high-end clients, no matter what you charge. It will show. It will show in the call. It will show in other places. People will know. They will find out. They will feel it. They are not aware of it, probably. Some sensitive people will be, but something is odd. So what can you learn from the Picasso story? that you are already the expert. You are. And this is what men do. Men bluff and they say they are the expert, which they're not. But you are. Okay, sorry, men. Um, some men are an expert. A lot of men are experts. But you grow into becoming an expert. And often women are already an expert and they don't acknowledge it. And that's a big difference. And the only one who can change this is you. The only one who can change your self-worth and see what you can and how good you are. It requires a shift of your perception, a shift in your brain, a shift towards your heart, towards believing in yourself. And nobody can do that for you. 
Yes, it will help if other people tell and explain to you what they see. But if it's really deep, hidden down, you, you probably think, well, I have self-worth. I have no problem. I can ask that price. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not laughing at you, but the tone of voice is exactly the kind of voice. It's a defending voice. So work on that. Work on your self-worth. Find out what blocks you. Why can you not ask or, and maybe both, sell for a good price? <laughs>